Hello, this is Eric Zuckerman for Download Squad, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Corel Video Studio Pro 4. So, the application is divided into three uh, distinct stages or workflow steps. The first of which is capture, where you basically put your material into the application. You can either capture video, uh, capture from a DV tape, digital media, mobile device, etc. You can also capture directly into the application with a webcam by using the stop motion feature. Uh, right now there is no device but that's what it looks like. And oh, it did locate my Logitech webcam. Let me just close it. There we go. So that's the first step. Once you have your material in the application you switch to the edit workflow step and here you have a whole um, catalog of media which you can filter by uh, you know just the sound bites or just uh, the um, videos etc and you basically can drag it onto the timeline like this and just you can easily uh, trim segments like this and move them around right now it's in overlay mode let me just delete that and um, Corel also offers a whole bunch of transitions. These are my favorites, but there are many, many different transitions. It looks a little bit cluttered, but the reason is that every transition is animated to show what it looks like. So you don't actually have to try each of them out. You could just quickly look at the icon and see what it's going to do on your video. And um, there are also title effects and you can download more titles here with the get more content and you see there are title packs you can download and there are going to be more of these eventually and uh, you see here I'm using one title pack which is kind of animated let's see if I can show you here you see that's that's what the animation looks like and um, there are background colors there are image effects which you can apply to uh, your entire video or just part of the video like for example I can emboss this entire video now that looks pretty horrible but I can do that um, and that's that and I can also edit the, s uh, the sound that was the wrong icon that, that auto music icon is for adding a soundtrack but this is the sound editor which I can edit. I can edit uh, surround sound if I have several tracks etc. And um, yeah so that's what that looks like. Once you're done with the editing part which is surprisingly easy to use actually I mean Coral told me it's gonna be easy to use but I was pleasantly surprised when I actually tried it out and it's a lot of fun to use and I could actually get the results I wanted which was very nice. So once you're done with that part you go to step three which is sharing your media in which you can create a video file you can uh, create a disc you can create a blu-ray disc a DVD etc and in case you don't have a blu-ray uh, burner you can just create the disc image and then take it somewhere to have it burned etc there is actually one more thing I'd like to show you let me just close that okay so the one other feature I really wanted to show you is the fact that you can take the entire interface apart that's actually important for example here's the preview window I can just dock it anywhere I want I can take it to my secondary display etc I can uh, change just about anything here uh, you see I can just everything is a dockable pane which I can take apart and put back together as I want which is very very nice and that's a key feature so that's that thank you very much for watching this quick overview